recognize how incredible this opportunity has been with the innovation fund. Honestly, didn't have much hope of getting funded. Did it because we were encouraged by one of our other partners, Dr. Tomagon, uh, out of uh, Hopkins Bayview, to do it, along with Virtues Matter. So we did it. And we say, you know what, well, let's just go for who we are and what we do. And lo and behold, it was accepted. So we, we know how important it is to be successful, not just for our sake, but for the sake of any other organization that would want to come to an institution like Hopkins and say, what we bring is our unapologetic culture, our unapologetic creative practices, and that's exactly what's needed to address longstanding health issues. We set a tone, we set a precedent. So that pressure is internal and it's real. So getting started was difficult, but once we got started, I think it tapped into our ultimate confidence that once we got going, it would reveal how powerful this thing can be. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, there's a reason you're talking to me right now, right? I, I think we can be honest about that. There's a reason that EDOH has been featured among the exemplars of the innovation fund because it works. It works exceedingly well, and it's particularly good, great, exceptional at elevating humanity. And when it comes to health and well-being, that's the most powerful thing you can do. 